ceviche. Um, we'll do a little bit of a modern twist on it. As I said, we're going to use beer in the preparation today. Um, I've chosen the green apple pills there because it lends uh, a nice citrus element to it, which goes with uh, ceviche. Just a, a little bit of background information about ceviche, if you guys are unfamiliar with what it is. Um, it's a popu popular seafood dish, um, native to the coastal regions of the Americas, uh, especially Central and South America. Um, it came to the United States in the 1980s and has become quite popular uh, since then. So, basically, it's, it's a method of, of cooking uh, traditionally fish, uh, most commonly sea bass, um, uh, using citrus juices to actually denature the protein. So there's no heat involved at all, it's actually using the acid in the citrus fruit to cook it. Um, so traditionally using fish, um, depending on the type of fish, obviously you want it to be very fresh uh, because it's, you're starting with a raw product and you're only using acid to cook it, right? Um, so traditionally you would marinate it for about three hours probably in the refrigerator. Um, we're going to be using scallops, they're going to be slicing them thin, so they'll actually cook within, by the time I'm done doing this presentation, about ten minutes or so and we'll be good to go. Okay, so I'm going to start with some beautiful uh, fresh sea scallops that I have here. Um, I'm just going to take the abductor portion off. It's a little tough uh, portion, portion of the uh, scallop and connects it to the actual shell. So you just want to remove that before you do anything. Sometimes they'll be off, but just make sure you check and make sure you get it off because it's not, it's not nice to eat. <laughs> So we have those up, we're just going to slice them nice and thin. Make sure you have a nice sharp knife. I'm just going to place them in this bowl over here. That's all you need. You save the rest for yourself. 
Yeah, I got some shallot here and I have a jalapeno. Um, uh, traditionally, it's ceviche. Um, usually they add a little bit of heat, usually chili. I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to add jalapeno. It helps cut, cut the citrus and adds a nice balance to the dish. So we'll start with our shallot. Just going to take the end off, cut it in half, peel back the skin. We're going to use half of the shallot. So a, little, a very fine brunoise is what they call a very small dice. So you start by going the length of the shallot, and then I'll go a few cross cuts through, making sure you don't go all the way through the shallot, keeping it nice and whole. Get rid of all these little loose portions. And then just straight across and you'll get nice fine brunoise. Jalapeno. I'm actually going to take the seeds out just to dumb it down a little bit. I don't want it to be overly spicy, I just want it to help. The same as the shallot, I want a nice fine dice. Hey, where'd you get that? <laughs> what? What kind of beer is that? Maple Porter. Maple Porter. Anybody want any Maple Porter? Uh, any for your pancakes, let me tell ya. It'll put hair on your chest, that stuff. Okay, so we have our jalapeno in there, our citrus juices, our green apple beer, our scallops, and our shallots. Um, I got some beautiful uh, cilantro here. Just going to give that a nice rough chop and we'll add it to our mixture as well. Gives it a nice fresh, fresh flavor. Really blends well to uh, ceviche. Josh, you ever cut yourself cutting? Absolutely not. Good for it. Wouldn't want to happen now either. No, Imagine, you know, got that Knock on wood. red stuff on the <laughs> scalp. Don't look good. Okay, you're going around with maple porter now. Anybody want a maple porter for your hand up? So you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to beat the cilantro, you'll start bruising it, so just a nice rough drop. So I have this nice radicchio here, it's a, it's a bitter green. It's, it's also going to help bite the, uh, cut back the, uh, the bite of the citrus. So I'm going to take a little bit of it, I'm going to add it to the uh, ceviche, it's going to do a nice little chiffon out. It's also going to add an element of crunch too. very thinly, slice across. Very similar to a julienne cut. Um, chiffonade is reserved for uh, herbs or, uh, or leafy greens rather. So we have that in the mixture. Now I'm just going to let that marinate for a few minutes. It's going to take a second to clean up here. Okay, so as that's marinating, I have some beautiful uh, heirloom vine ripened tomatoes here. Um, you can't find heirloom, uh, regular vine ripened will work as well. Um, always check your local uh, farmer's market, that's where I like to go shop and get nice stuff. It's also good to support your local farmers and try to keep things sustainable. So, um, for the base here, um, to serve our ceviche on, I'm going to have simply some nice sliced tomatoes. I'm just going to take the top off here, get rid of the core. I'm 
simply just going to slice these down. Nice sharp knife. Always helps. The contrast of colors is really nice too. This will be a great spring, summer, uh, summer dish. Potentially going on our new menu actually, coming out uh, just after Easter. So I'm just going to lay these tomatoes down. They go red, yellow, red, yellow. Take a bit of our Rubikio here. I'm just going to peel back some nice leaves. Also, I have some blonde frisee lettuce, one of my favorites. Has a beautiful presentation to it, a really nice flavor. Um, it's also a bit of green, a little milder. It has a nice crunch. We'll take a little bunch of them. So, we'll take some of our scallops here. I'm just going to start to lay them around. Get some nice presentation going. This would be great to do on the patio. Um, have a bunch of friends over. How is it? Some of my juice. Some, uh, some nice sorrel shoots here. They have a nice lemony flavor. Be a nice garnish to our dish. Alright, that's a Scott Sumichi. Doesn't that look amazing? So as I said, we're at the show. Um, we're doing banana bread pudding. We also have some clam chowder going. Uh, clam chowder is awesome, so check us out.